Hey guys, and welcome to a video covering why you should be using Power Burst of Vitality. So when you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax, and enjoy. The Power Burst of Vitality is a 4-dose potion created at 105 Horlord that is tradable on the Grand Exchange. Once used, it will double your maximum life points and your current life points for 6 seconds. This potion has some niche uses, but it can also be an emergency potion to take 50% less damage. Let's talk about it. I think this is the best thing you can take in any PVM preset, especially when learning. Of course, if you're super acquainted to a boss, you won't really need it, but it's still nice to have. I would like to call this potion the Panic Potion. Let's say you have 6,000 life points out of 9,000. If you sip this potion, your life points will go to 12 out of 18,000. Let's say you take 1,000 damage, which means you have 11,000 life points. After the 6 seconds end, you will go down to 5,500 life points because it halves your current and maximum life points again. Meaning you effectively took 500 less damage, which means 50% damage less taken during those six seconds. Now, I don't know about you, but that's like an extra defensive ability that you can just click whenever, although it does, of course, have a cooldown, which thankfully is no longer shared with the adrenaline potions. I think it was fixed a while back. The Power Burst of Vitality has a two-minute cooldown, which is shared with the other Power Burst potions. That is something you need to keep in mind. This means you can effectively sip the potion 30 times an hour, which means 180 seconds of 50% damage reduction, or easier said, 3 minutes an hour. That is phenomenal. This means that you can effectively reduce the damage taken by 50% for 5% of your time an hour. However, if you want to use the Power Burst properly, you want to use it a little more strategically. Like I said, I call this potion the Panic Potion, and it can be a Panic Potion for anyone who's learning. But it can also be a countermeasure to certain mechanics. For example, the Ice Prisons at next. Usually what you would do is either anticipate if you know the attack is coming, and Resonance eat up and put your Magic Prayer on after the Ice Prison. Alternatively, even if you get stunned, you can simply click the Power Burst of Vitality, get to double your life points given that you're at high HP, and tank the hit. No problemo. Another use for the Power Burst of Vitality is in between phases at Raksha. The rocks come falling down, and what you can do is simply sip that Power Burst of Vitality and not worry as much about the rocks. Of course, still try to avoid them because you can still die even with the Power Burst of Vitality, so keep that in mind. However, if you're clearing the pools, it's a nice little addition to doing Raksha, and it can make it easier and decrease the risk of you dying. What are you guys doing? This is what happens if you if you if the subscribers they've turned into goobies that are like they're on drugs. They're really on drugs. Now tell us there are two great uses for the power burst of vitality, at least at low enrages. I'm not sure if this is still relevant at high enrages, because I don't do high enrage Telos. But if you're learning Telos, you can easily tank the so much power by using the power burst of vitality. Of course, you'd want to count on the mechanics if possible properly by rezzing, debilitating, or even using reflect against the so much power to at least deal some damage against Telos. In phase 5, you can use the power burst of vitality to focus on Telos in terms of dealing damage, because when the rocks come falling down, usually what you do is move out of the way, but if you want to focus on your damage rotation, sipping a power burst of vitality to pretty much ignore the first rock might be a decent tactic. Although, I'll leave that up to you. Also, apparently you can use it to reflect a lot of damage on Telos as well. I've seen a few clips online. Moral of the story, put a power burst of vitality inside your Telos preset and you should be good to go. Now, if you don't have Disruption Shield, you can use a Power Burst of Vitality at the Ambassador in multiple parts of the fight. You can use it at the start when Zerking to reduce the damage taken. You can use it to counter the spinning bombs, which come after the bombs, especially if you have multiple spinners that went into the Ambassador, if you're learning or something. It's also particularly useful in the final phase at the Ambassador, because when the Ambassador calls out your name, you want a Devotion and Protect from Magic. However, if that is on cooldown, the Power Burst of Vitality can come in handy. You still want to Protect from Magic, of course. I think you're starting to get the point. This potion has uses, and you can use it strategically, but you can also use it as a Panic Potion to quickly tap Keybind for 
activate the potion and take 50% less damage for 6 seconds. Two final things I want to mention, apparently it works with reprisal which is quite good so you can reflect damage although it still has that 10,000 hit cap and it seems to work inside the wilderness which is interesting as the powerburst of acceleration doesn't. For the record I didn't actually extensively test this, I just looked if it works inside the wilderness and it seems to work so uh... That's something I just wanted to mention. So yeah, that pretty much covers everything I wanted to mention in this video. Hopefully you learned something new if you didn't even know this potion existed. And I wish you guys the best of luck PVMing. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.